Thanks for tuning in to What is Explanation? The most important thing to do before starting to write an assessment is to make sure you understand what the task requires. This video looks at what explanation means in an assessment task. So what does explanation mean? Explanations go one step further than description. An assessment task that requires description asks you to consider the what, where, when and who of the topic. For an explanation, you expand your ideas to include cause and effect. This means considering the how and the why, which are the causes, you then need to think about what is the effect or outcome of these causes. Let's look at an explanation task. In this task, you need to explain why the Tasmanian devil is an endangered species. The task is asking you to explain how and why the endangerment is occurring. You also need to consider the effect or outcome of the endangerment. The first thing to do is research some causes for the Tasmanian devil being endangered and the effects of this. You might find the causes of endangerment are the killing of Tasmanian devils by early settlers and the more recent facial tumour disease. You can then consider the effects of these causes of endangerment. The first effect or outcome of killing by settlers was population loss and the introduction of laws to protect the species. The second effect or outcome of the facial tumour disease has been population loss and the development of research to try to prevent the disease and programs to conserve the species. You can also create a flowchart to map out the cause and effect relationships for each idea. You might also ask yourself, is there a relationship between them? We have only used two ideas here, but you can extend this template to map all of your ideas. Now that you've decided what to write about, how do you set it out in an essay? Your essay structure will start with an introduction. This should be like a roadmap of your essay. It should show the reader where you're going, what is the main point of the essay, and how you're going to get there. You also tell the reader why this is an important topic. The body of the essay should start with the causes of the Tasmanian devil being an endangered species. These are the causes of endangerment that you researched earlier. The next section should outline the effects or the outcome of endangerment. Finally, your conclusion should do three things. Sum up the points you've already made, draw connections between those points in the essay question, and restate the significance of the topic. I hope this video has given you some helpful tips on how to address assessment questions requiring explanation. For more handy hints on studying at uni, check out the other videos in our TuneIn series.